Yo! What's going on, everybody? It's My your boy Boone. Boone coming at you all a I brand new shit. video. We know what time it is. I already made a video yesterday giving you all the best tips of how to cop this box oh, logo release in this week. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the rest of the drop list. There's actually another item in here. I'm so upset is dropping this week because it's actually one of my favorite items of the season. I've been waiting for it forever, and of course, Box logo week is when it comes out. Maybe think in your head, what was dropping this week that Boone is actually tweaking over? You'll see, we'll talk about it, but um, yeah, we're gonna just be discussing stuff you should be going for alongside the box logo. And I'm curious, do you guys still get like as excited for box logo weeks as in years past? I mean, I'm actually really hyped for this one because as I said in my video yesterday, um, there's a certain colorway here I do wanna keep for myself, but I'm not gonna lie, like the magic and everything of box logo week has subdued a bit just because profit it's not as crazy anymore like there's honestly more profitable weeks in the season especially if you're following my carts in my discord browser a shout out to the browser boys but that's not to say at 759 I'm not gonna be sweating out my ass I'm still gonna be super nervous copping this one but man if you were around for like 2015 to like I don't know 2019 just all the past box logo releases you remember how insane those times were man it's fun to be a little nostalgic but let's get in this video today drop a like if you guys are excited and yeah let's get into it so I guess we can cover the box logo to start off even though I did pretty in-depth go over it yesterday. I'm gonna kind of run through it a bit quicker today. So of course, this is the premiere item of the week. Oh, what a call out, Boone. Thanks for the advice, buddy. Yeah, no shit. You guys don't gotta fucking laugh at me, all right? Um, yeah, obviously everyone should be going for this in their first card. I'm saying single card it. If you really wanna be a little freaking nympho, maybe double card it with the beanie. If you're doing this, you are an absolute freak and I actually respect it, but there's no chance I'm gonna be doing that myself. Starting with the crew neck, I think best resell colorways. Number one is gonna be gray. Um, and I think really gray is gonna lead the pack by a slight margin. I think after that, it's actually gonna be pretty close with the other couple colors. Um, I like the green a lot. I remember they did a green tonal box logo crew neck a couple seasons ago that did really well. It led the pack there. So I do think there is some hype for the green color. I think black obviously is always a staple color, um, but also the blue and the brown. Maybe one of them edges out the other colors in the pack. The more I look at the green, the more I'm like, it might be this one. Brown or black will probably be really close to each other. But besides that, I think it's gonna be the red after. Um, and then the yellow and zebra. <laughs> I don't know which of these two is gonna do worse. Doesn't really matter. They're both gonna perform pretty bad. I actually saw an on-body photo of the zebra and I don't mean to bash it or anything. Shout out to the people that like to wear crazy stuff. The zebra is certainly that. I don't know, man. It's way too chaotic and I've never really been into zebra print too much. So that's kind of why I'm down on it. My resale estimates, um, first day out the rip, I'm thinking worst color, like the worst sizes, probably around 260, 265. <laughs> pretty bad profit margins right there. But I think best colors and sizes could be around 325. Um, it's a pretty comfortable range. So mostly they're gonna be around 280 to 320 or so. If there is double XL, we don't know if there is or not. Um, it is most certainly gonna lead the pack and could even scrape like 400 to be honest with y'all. I do have a feeling there is gonna be double XL just because of how much double XL we've seen this season, not just on t-shirts either. You're kind of a psychopath if you do go for it because it is without a doubt gonna be the first size to be selling out. It's gonna be the least Talk. I'd rather make money, so I'm not gonna be risking it. I'm going for gray large, maybe medium. I actually don't know how Crunex fit with Supreme. I never buy them. Unless it's a little sweater or something. I might go medium because I have a feeling the large might be too big. But that's enough crew neck talk. Let's talk about the beanies as well. Um, for the beanies, I again think black's gonna do the best, but gray is gonna be right next to it. I think black and gray without question are the best two on this. Probably both around a hundred bucks, maybe like 90s, because the beanies don't do as well as they used to. Um, the stock is just huge on them. This is another reason I'm saying don't double cart because you should be able to get a single cart beanie after your crew neck checkout. Um, but yeah, I'll probably be going for the black one. I always just go for the black beanie. Really black and gray are gonna lead the pack. After that, probably green and brown and then the red or blue, I'm not sure. The others are gonna kind of do not as well. Really those top four colors are gonna be what you wanna go for. They'll all be 80 plus, probably around like 90-ish. Some of these colors though, are like the yellow and zebra are gonna be all the way down to like 70, I'm guessing. So I don't wanna talk about box logos too much. Let's get into these other items. And we're gonna start it off with the gumball machine. Now I did say earlier, there's an item in this video I've wanted all season long. And if you think it's the gumball machine, you are so fucking incredible. Oh, what the fuck, bro? You think I'm sitting here Hands on my knees, excited for a fucking $300 gumball machine. I don't even really like gum like that, bro. So you are wildly mistaken, although 
I do love my bricks, which I do think this is gonna be. Um, nobody needs a $300 gumball machine. It is really cool. It's gonna be really good for stores. That's the only way I see this having some profit margin. If every resale store wants to go grab one, cause I do believe you can put stuff besides gumballs in here. Like I think it's a cool item. I don't wanna be hating on it. The fact that there is Supreme gumballs in it is pretty fun. Really not gonna have profit though. Just our weekly overpriced Supreme accessory. So next up, we have the Gore-Tex Shell Windstopper Vest. Um, this is a pretty cool item. It is $500, which like, I don't know about that one, Chief. It has kind of like an anorak look to it, which I do enjoy. It doesn't have the pocket, obviously. Um, I actually think this is a pretty cool one. The vest itself is actually really sick, too. The vest feature does make this pretty fun. The vest itself is Windstopper. It's not Gore-Tex, which is kind of a ripoff, to be honest. There is like a potential for this to have some profit, but I feel like the really expensive jackets have not been doing very well with Supreme recently, so I am going to call it a pass. It's just not worth the risk. But there is like a slight chance if it's more so limited since it is like a more complicated item to make. It's nothing I can really hype up for y'all. 500 is just too risky an investment. Um, we have the SOG Snippet Multi-Tool. At first I thought there was a gold version of this, which I actually think would have been kind of cool. Um, we've seen so many multi-tools from Supreme now, it's kind of getting old, but if this one had been gold, that might have been hard. Um, it's not, or at least I don't think it is, and it's gonna be a pass. But I'm gonna stop bullshitting with y'all, man. Let's talk about my favorite item of the week that like I've been waiting for this all season, and it really does kind of bug me it's on box logo week i was hoping on the more dead week i could go buy this it's coming in at 338 dollars <laughs> we have this supreme scott canvas down jacket um i absolutely love these man now you guys gotta right away help me out on this black or the natural i'm really feeling that natural with the brown collar Ew, the caramel collar come on this thing is gorgeous to me i've been looking at it all season probably my favorite jacket out of the lookbook of the season just really clean scott always comes correct with the quality um i always used to call this shot and honestly, it took like two or three years for someone to correct me and I'm still fucking embarrassed by it. So shout out to all y'all. Leaving me out here to dry. I mean, it, like why you gotta put an H in the word Scott? Like just stop playing with me, please. Orange is even kind of cool for like a hunting jacket. I don't really like be doing all that shit. The interior lining, a nice padded inside. I absolutely love this jacket, man. I do think I'm gonna be going with the natural color and I actually do see some profit on this to be real with y'all. Um, we have seen some Supreme Puffies with just this small little logo like this perform very nice. I just sold that reversible flannel one for like almost $500, which is crazy. Its retail was $298. This one's a bit more expensive, but I just think this one is so clean that I truly do see some potential. You would have to be a big budget person to go cop one. Natural color is the one I would recommend. I'm buying it for myself, but I'm not going to lie to y'all. There is like a little demon inside telling me to sell it because I just, I have a feeling on this. Definitely an item you can only really buy if you have a bigger budget and you're willing to take a risk on it. You're always taking a risk with these more expensive jackets from Supreme, but 338 is really not a bad price to pay for a Scott Puffy, and it's just incredibly wearable. I think I am going to keep it for myself. I'm really excited to see these come out because I've been looking at it all season. I just wish it was a little earlier in winter. Like, I was just in New York. would have been really nice to wear this and not freeze my ass off. Favorite item of the week, though, besides the box logo. We have the reflective cam caps. These are tiger camo, which is kind of cool, um, but these are probably going to be a skip to me. 58 is a lot to pay for a cam cap. I wish they did, like, a normal canvas cam cap with the tiger camo. would have been a lot cooler. Um, um, elephant mesh five panel. Let's take a look at these. Why is the elephant oh on the brim like that? I'll really fuck this one up. Um, actually, when I saw there was an elephant mesh five panel, I was pretty excited because I thought it was just going to be like a single elephant from the Sean Crawford collab we saw, which I actually like weirdly enjoyed. I almost I want to get one of those hoodies if they go on sale or like the sweatpants, but um, they actually really fumbled the bag on this five panel. It's way too chaotic, but there's not going to be any resale and I'm not going to be buying one. Warm up pants. We see these every season. Um, it's going to be a skip. One 28, not a bad price to pay for the personal. Not gonna have profit. Contrast to Plique short sleeve top, um, not the worst. Like, I hate how brutally big the logo is. Olive one's okay, but not gonna resell. I do not remember this item, bro. We have the Lakshmi zip up. I just so don't remember this at all from the lookbook. And it is incredibly weird. Like, somebody was tripping major acid designing this one. It's kind of fun. I think it would have been better on like a t shirt or something. Um, on a zip up hoodie, that's way too much to pay for such an acid design design but um it's different i'm not gonna hate on it have these nylon filled shirts um i don't really like that they're nylon but i do think the fact they made like a filled button up is kind of cool i maybe would have liked it more if it was quilted i feel like
like that might have like matched the look a bit more. But being nylons, what throws me off on this one, but I'm not gonna hate on it for the personal, but it's pretty expensive for just a button up. We have these striped chenille sweaters. Honestly, it feels like every season now, there's some kind of obnoxious knit sweater that looks almost like a track jacket design. They do these so much now, and I always really don't like them. So not a fan of these, definitely gonna be a skip. Tiger Reflective Tulip Hat. I fucking hate the term tulip hat. That shit, like, you look like a flower wearing this. Why would you buy it? Oh, next up, the faux fur zip up cardigan. Y'all thought this was the item I was waiting for all season, huh? This is, y'all got me fucked up, bro. You really think I'm fucking with this one? Like, I know I got the brick cardigan on. This wasn't even planned, bro. Come on, I got my bricky on me. This is one of the most, like, disappointing cardigans of late, because I do love faux furs of material. There's a lot of potential for this. I have, like, the faux fur cowhide sweater, which is fucking sick. I love that. Um, but just doing a blank faux fur, it looks really bad. I will say, I think these are gonna look way better in person. And this looks so shiny and everything is because they have big white lights on it for the product images. I do think on body, this will look a lot cleaner. I think a nice deep red would have been really nice for this. Um, or maybe like a deep olive. I'm not feeling it though. I'm really not a fan of this. $228 as well, just like a more expensive price. I love the zip up cardigans. I'm disappointed. It's just so not it. Like, because this could have been way better. Guys have a personal vendetta against this cardigan. So much potential. And next up, I totally forgot to talk about these. Y'all are gonna hate my opinion of these Timberland Woven 3 Eye Lug shoes because I think they're kind of fire. I've seen so much hate on these. They're the most downvoted item of the week. But this is the point I have to make. I'm actually gonna probably make a TikTok about this too. Tell me I'm wrong, but if this was a Stussy collab, people would actually be jumping for it. People would be like, man, Stussy did it again. They really made like a Timberland shoe look nice. That pink color would sell out very quickly and have profit on it. I swear to God I am not wrong on this one. Now don't get me wrong, lug shoes, not a fan. Not a shoe I really see myself wearing. I don't even think I'm gonna be buying these, but I just don't like all the hate I've seen on them because Supreme really made a lug shoe look fire. The woven pattern, the colorways are a hit. We got the nice moss, we got the pink with the black bottoms. Like I actually think Supreme went ham on these. One of the best Timberland shoes we have seen. I'm tempted, like I, I'm gonna try to get one for under retail and just hope they end up breaking. I do feel like there are gonna be some people that have the same idea as me and are just like, you know what? Like this is actually a pretty nice lug shoe. I'm gonna go cop them and they're gonna somehow have profit. That would be way down the line. Don't worry, I'm not vouching for these that have resale. I hope they brick. Um, Cause I could see myself getting a pink pair. That pink is glorious, dude. I think it's actually really sick. I could also see myself getting the olive. I like all three colors and I just don't like the hate these shoes are getting. If Stussy was the one behind this collab, People would be giving so many flowers. Tell me I'm wrong. Uh, someone's definitely gonna tell me I'm wrong. And that's okay. I know I'm into weirder shoes. I'm not like a huge Nike person at this point or anything, but I just don't like the hate these shoes are getting. This is fire for a lug shoe. This is maybe the hardest lug shoe I have seen. But motherfuckers will jump up and down for a tiny little box oh, to go on some white air forces. All right, that's all I had to say. Um, that's gonna do it for the video. I do hope you all enjoyed. Let me know if you're gonna buy anything this week besides the crew neck. Oh, the beanie boon. Yeah, no shit. Besides the box logo stuff, is there any Anything anyone else is picking up. I'm gonna be getting that Scott jacket. I'm gonna try to get a beanie alongside it in a double cart, so we'll see how that goes. But yeah, live cop tomorrow. Get ready. Bucks Google Week. Let's go, baby. I'll see y'all later. I'm out. Peace.